exclamation everybody and welcome to a new series that i'm starting up uh it looks surprisingly like minecraft doesn't it <laughs> uh and before the the negative wave comes through about all the things all the minecraft things that i have left dangling uh this one this thread i don't believe i will i will neglect <laughs> quite as much as the other ones and that being uh the the reason uh, for that uh, is that I am actually playing on a multiplayer server right now. I am on the Livecraft Mine server, which just begs to have me say that wrong at some point in time, <laughs> and then uh, and then everything will come full circle. I will become <clears throat> my parents <laughs> back when I was a kid, and I had to keep correcting them that it was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, not Ninja Mutant Teenage Turtles. <laughs> I have become the old man at, at this point. Um, I um, before I go too far here, uh, it is it is night time. Uh, I am uh, uh, fully naked, <laughs> so I, I I've got some basic essentials. I've got the you know some stone swords. I've been mining a little bit off in the hills there, and uh, let me tell you, the uh, the silverfish. Um, they, they they did things to me things that I I, I cannot talk about <laughs> um, have not uh, died yet uh, but I will probably die on this video because I have found something that I want to uh, uh, share with everybody first of all I've got the basic essentials going here uh, again stone tools and everything else uh, this is the uh, the spawn is just up there uh, this is a uh, new city that the uh, community here is going to be building um, I haven't quite uh, gotten an answer yet as to what the dimensions of each plot is going to be um, this one appears to be 11 by 11 that one over there is oddly shaped now let's uh, let's try not to have things go pear shaped now Thank you. Oh, we got spider. Okay, you are dead, sir. And we got oh, this guy sees me from 900 miles away. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we got the beginnings of some roads here. This was this was pretty much what I saw when I came in. Um, and since then, I've been trying to just sort of orient myself and find out what's going on. There's some uh, epic-looking stuff over there. Uh, it, it makes me feel quite inadequate. <laughs> I mean, I can already tell you I'm a terrible builder, um, but uh, that what I saw over there uh, only reinforces that fact even more. So what I've done here is I've just sort of set up a little bit of a shop here, just at the end of the corner here, because I don't know what size they're looking for. So I figure it's easy enough. Oh my god, I've got the whole freaking zombie army, army here. Um... So I figure it's easy enough to just move around if I've got the uh, corner plot. It's also why I haven't uh, built anything yet. Uh, although I feel, <laughs> given given all the uh, zombies and whatnot walking through here, I feel like it's, it's closely coming to that point where I'm going to have to at least put a mark in the sand here. <clears throat> and uh, apologize profusely if I if I made it incorrectly. <laughs> Uh, but what I have done, uh, besides getting the basic essentials is I, I, I actually, over here, there are some farms. I, I found a wheat farm up on the, uh, um, the mountaintop there. Uh, nothing had grown yet in there last time I checked, but we have some basic, you know, some reed farms, some pumpkins here. We got tons and tons of chickens, uh, lying around here or flapping around uh, I also took this this thing here is like a looks like it's producing pumpkin pie so I don't really want to touch that what I did um, over here is I decided to just kind of throw something slap something together here there's there's tons of chickens running around so this probably isn't very necessary but I set up a little chicken pen there uh, where I'm just kind of breeding them as I as I go, 
and it cannot be sunlight fast enough here. This 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 guy knows about me. Hello, guy. Uh, unfortunately, they they are dropping lots and lots of of eggs here, and I I, I don't I haven't seen them disappearing, so I don't know if we're gonna have a problem with that or not. But I have plenty of seeds here, ready to go. Uh, in fact, these probably could use a little bit of a breed right now. Try deal with uh, Mr. Zombie here. Uh, where, what? Uh, here it is. Okay. Hello. How are you? Get to make some babies. Come on. Oh. Of course you're stuck in a wall, aren't you? Uh, let's try and do this properly. No? No? Really not? There you go. There we go. Alright. And get a little bit of experience from that. All the experience I have right now is just from uh, mining and smelting and... Well, a little bit of smelting I've done, and uh, breeding these uh, chickens here. Uh, really, I'm I'm only doing this here because uh, I intend to come through and slaughter a few. In fact, they they may be ripe for the slaughtering right now. Uh, so let us let's take care of this guy and uh, this guy and uh, you as well. We only really need the children here. Very good. Very good. All right. Now you guys stay put. No, 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 no. Ah, damn it, man. Why? Why must you be a pain in my ass? <laughs> uh, let's. Can I? Can I lure him with these seeds? Hey, guy. Hey, yeah. These these look awesome, don't they? Don't they? Scrumptious. Yes. Why? Why? Why are you not mesmerized? <laughs> All right, let's let's go this way, guy. Yeah. Hey. No. No. <laughs> you're not you're not interested, huh? Not not in the slightest bit. Uh. Okay. You're just gonna stand there. You're you're just gonna be a chess chicken, huh? That's it. That's all I'm gonna get out of you. Hey. Hey. Look at me when I'm talking to you. <laughs> Can I somehow? Lure this guy out. The other guy wants it. Why? Why you no know, want my seeds? <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I'll leave him there. It's uh, actually I'm gonna take this with me because I need I need some food where I'm headed. Uh, like I said, there's plenty of chickens roaming the countryside here, so I'm sure I can get another one in there unless he grows up and decides that he actually does have a taste for seeds. Um, I don't have any iron yet. Apparently, apparently there is an iron farm around here somewhere. You know, an iron golem farm. Uh, I, I, I have no idea where that's at. <laughs> um, so I, and, and honestly, at this point, I probably don't want to use any community farms yet because since I'm just starting out I, I really feel like I should take the time and, uh, and and do it proper and then once I've done it proper once then I can I can uh, start uh, leeching off of, <laughs> off of everyone else's creations <laughs> uh, perhaps leeching wasn't the right term there <laughs> uh, let's see we got put these feathers in here. oh you know what I are stupid. I have all these eggs. I, I can I can replace you, chicken. Well, actually, I don't really feel like running over there, though. There we go. We got a replacement chicken. Uh, spider eyes. Got tons of those. Don't need them. I'm going to carry this with me, even though it's sort of just a backup plan. I do have a bow, and I had some arrows, but I kind of wasted them on a, on a skelly that was wearing gold armor because I got greedy. Thought he might drop it, and uh, you know that's that that is not how things work in Minecraft anymore. <laughs> oh, 
actually how much yeah this will do for now so what I've done over here I again I was trying to dig into dig like a mine shaft sort of thing into the into the uh, extreme hills over there and uh, the silver fish fish convinced me that that was not a good thing to be doing so instead I've fallen back to my good old standby this is what I do in all my single player worlds here and I find a nice little body of ocean uh, and uh, I get my get my mining on now what I it didn't take me long here but I, I managed to break through right into this mine shaft here and unfortunately you can see it right there in fact it's active I should move back here there is a uh, Ske uh, not Skelly, a uh, poisonous spider spawner right over there. Um, so, me with no armor, this is going to be not. This is not. This is not going to be a very smart thing to be doing. Oh, and I'm getting shot at. Where did that guy come from? I guess he was down bottom there. Uh, did that? Did we get spiders in here? Oh, no, that's a bat. Okay. Okay. Um, surprisingly enough, nothing has spawned from that thing yet, but uh, I don't think I want to push my luck. And this this, this does not go anywhere. So I guess I'm going to have to push my luck. Um, yeah, this is not going to be the the smartest thing I've ever done. Again, I have zero, zero deaths, but uh, that's, that's probably going to change right about now. Let's get some light in here anyway. Oh, I hear the I hear the spiders. Yeah, this is this is this is NG right here. Oh, there's the guy, and there's there's some iron right there too, of course. Um, let us let us put some cobble up here, just to give ourselves a little bit of breathing room here. Um, to should probably do the decent thing and leave a little warning in case somebody finds this place. Uh, let's do this. Uh, warning. Death ahead. <laughs> I think you think they'll get the message with that? <laughs> Is, am I being a little too subtle? <laughs> Uh, all right, let's, I got some slime balls now, which is good. I can make some leads if I know how to do that. <laughs> Here's where having not played the game in a long time, I have to start looking things up in the, uh, in the wiki, which I don't have open right now. So I'm not going to get very far there. All right, let's, can we break through to the other side? Or am I too low at this point? I might be a little too low. Actually, where where am I coordinate wise? Thirty four. Okay. Well, there's definitely iron around here. It's just I might have passed it. Watch there be watch there be gravel here. Nope. <laughs> All right. So where the heck? There's definitely a spot over here. Um. Maybe I'm not going down deep enough. Maybe. Maybe that is the case. So. Uh, maybe I should uh, take this time to just talk a little bit about Minecraft and uh my experiences with it i i started playing this double double thing is a little bit interesting um i started playing minecraft uh back in the alpha days uh it was i feel like i'm really close to something here um I was uh, I, I bought it back in alpha right after the um, Halloween update 
So that was that's when they introduced the Nether for the first time and and guests and all that all that fun stuff that we we take. Oh, is that? Wait a second. Am I in Extreme Hills? No, I'm in Forest. Okay, I was gonna say that. Was that a freaking silver fish block? Because I've I've seen my share of them for one day. Aha, here we go. There's some iron. Alright, we're getting somewhere now, folks. So yeah, I started playing back in the alpha. That's when I bought the game. Uh, I started playing because I saw YouTube videos of the game. Back then I was watching uh, CoStar a lot. Um, that guy, I could... Seriously, I, I could listen to him... Uh, read from the phone book. I mean, that's... <laughs> uh, it, it, some people just have that voice. You know what I mean? Uh, where? I must be below where I need to be here. Oh, uh, well. Let's... I'm not doing a very good job of breaking through the surface here, or to this to this ravine. Um, so... A lot of my initial creations in Minecraft, uh, talking about CoStar a lot, uh, follow a lot of what he did. Because, like most people, when you first pick up the game, um, you really don't know what to do. <laughs> there's no there's no instructions. Uh, there were even less back then. There were, there were no achievements or anything like that to try to give you a, a sort of a, a running guide. Man, I have spawned so many... So many spiders. This is. They are they are angry as hell at me. <laughs> uh, pity, pity the fool that follows me down here right now. <laughs> so, uh, you know, again, a lot of the stuff that I learned about the game, I learned from him, from watching him. Okay, here we go. Now we're, now we're getting somewhere. Of course, I'm up in a up in an overhang here. Um, and uh, what's funny is I I was actually so I I started a server locally uh, for one real reason, and that was and, and it was just you know in my local my local network only. Um, and that reason was at the time there was a server out. It was this was before bucket and forge and all those things there was a server and I, I don't remember the name of the server package but it was sort of the granddaddy of them all and it had a ton of plugins for it and one of the plugins that i i really enjoyed and, and really was the whole reason why i i went and uh we got chickens down here too i went and uh created a server for myself <clears throat> was they had this like Stargate mod <clears throat> that uh, turned allowed you to to make nether portals essentially they, they weren't nether portals but they were the same sort of recipe you know it was just uh, um, obsidian blocks and you could make them look like Stargates from from the TV show Stargate um, SG-1 and, and all the movies and all that stuff so you would just build them um, <clears throat> in a circular shape, you know, this was before, well before nether portals like we have now where you can, you can put them in any shape you want. Ooh, we got some gold here too. Um, and I, uh, <clears throat> loved the hell out of that because I could, it was, it was used as a, instead of going to the, to the nether, it would take you to other locations that you had set up portals at. And what you would do is you 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 know build the uh, portal in a circular shape. And I, I forget how many obsidian blocks it was, but it was it was a good good amount. And uh, then you a couple blocks away from it, you would build a two pillar high obsidian uh, pillar, and on the top of it you'd put a sign, and the sign would be your display as to where you were going to teleport to, right? And then a, a lever underneath of it. And of course, the lever, you know, you would you would right click on the sign, and it would give you all the locations that you had linked up into the Stargate into your Stargate network. 
uh, and then you'd flip the switch, and that's when like the cool stuff would happen. It would um, spawn in a bunch of water blocks, and they would sort of whoosh out, just like the uh, just like in the TV series and the movies and all that stuff. And if you were standing near it, it would I believe it used to kill you. So that was accurate in that respect as well. And then it would stay, and then it would return to its to the normal size and uh, be just like a waterfall. It would just be running water up and down and you could just walk through it while it was still on and it would take you to whatever your destination was. It was, it was the, the poor man's TP command, basically. You know what I mean? Before there was such a thing as, as TP commands, really. And uh, I, I love the hell out of that thing. That, that map, I, I really wish I still had that map. I know for a fact that I... I uh, deleted it because I remember thinking to myself, you know, should I should I save this just for nostalgia reasons? And I said, nah, I don't I don't have the space for it, and I ended up deleting it. So that map had so many things in it that I, to this day, I'm proud of because I I have never been able to do any anything like it since then, and and, it, and they weren't you know all inspiring things that I did either. It was just. Um, I had a I had an airship that I built, and it was almost legit. I I ended up cheating a little bit with the wool for the for the airship part of it, uh, because I had like two like torpedo sized uh, balloons that were holding it up on either side, and I got about halfway through the the port side one, and I sort of gave up on it because at that time. You know, uh, in the alpha, there were no shears or anything like that in the game, so you had to uh, you had to breed the sheep, kill them, get one to three wool out of it, um, and then rinse and repeat. Right. So it took forever and a day to try to get the kind of um, wool I would have needed to do what I wanted to do. So I ended up just using server commands to uh, to give myself wool uh, because there, again at that time there was no there was no creative mode. Got these uh, got these eggs lying around here. I, they're not on the snapshot here so I don't think we have to worry about the the uh, uh, zombie jockeys right now uh, causing server lag but it's still a uh, find it interesting to find all these chickens down here these these subterranean chickens and uh, I you know I had that I had one thing that I'm, I'm really proud of that I, I've never done since then I built so there, there was a huge you know sort of extreme hill type of thing although there was no extreme hills biome at that time but it was just a huge you know classic generation mountain um, near my spawn. In fact, I spawned on top of a mountain that was adjacent to it. So it was like two mountains and then a, like a little bit of a valley. And it, uh, on top of that second mountain there, on top of the, on top of the spawn mountain, I just had a tree farm basically and a pathway. And on top of the second mountain, I built this little, um, fortress type of thing where I, I, I built like an above ground thing that was one floor. Well, two floors really but the, the top floor was you know the the battlements and uh, I um, so I built that and started digging into the actual uh, into the mountain and and making myself like throne rooms and all this stuff and having you know nice wool carpet even though there was no carpet in the game and uh, what am I trying to do I am trying to make a pick. That is what I'm trying to do. Um, so I did that. And the thing that I'm really proud of with that, with that is I built on the outside of the of the place. You know, I had like a little courtyard type of thing. Not, you know, there was no walls, but just like sort of a courtyard area. And I built a, a little statue. Nothing... Nothing, uh, you know, to write home about. It was just a little statue, but I loved it. Loved the hell out of it. 
it was it's the first time I ever made anything in the game that actually looked half decent. I mean, even my airship was kind of off because I didn't, you know, bother to actually count out the number of blocks I was doing. I did to a certain extent, but then I, I, I miscounted. And then by the time I realized I miscounted, I had sort of a lopsided, <laughs> lopsided bow of the ship. But, uh, and I just ended up living with it because at that point I didn't feel like tearing everything back down again. But uh, there were that was one thing, and and then I had like a whole little little city that I made, well village that I made, and this was before we had villages and villagers and all that stuff. So many memories there. I just I wish to this day I had not made the executive decision that I made and just and just say you know screw it goodbye to that. Um, however. And what, what made me think of this is I was just checking through my some old backups I had lying around. And I found an old backup of a uh, beta 1.1 1 .1, uh, underscore 02 world. Uh, actually, there was a couple in there. And I've been in sort of a nostalgic mood. I, my last couple Cube World videos, I, I was been talking about like Star Trek games and and all the games I liked and some of the games that you don't really hear about anymore that were actually rather fantastic. Um, and it's gotten me into this really nostalgic mood uh, where I feel like I want to well, get some. Uh, let's take some mushrooms while we're here. I have some red mushrooms from another cave as well. Um, and it's sort of really gotten me into this mood where I want to, I want to go back and revisit some things. And luckily with the new Minecraft launcher and stuff that was introduced a couple of releases ago, uh, I can now get back to where I was. I, I still had actually the jar file from the beta, uh, version. That's how I knew what version it was. What is in here? feel like this is this will lead me to death of some kind um though i should just stop being a wussy and just do it let's go for the plunge but actually i have all this iron i, I really want to smelt this up first which i probably should do actually um let me let me do that while i continue to reminisce here so i um been in that really nostalgic mood and and with the new uh with the new snap i hear i hear something walking around yep ow ow you stay you stay back uh, okay let's need to get up here go let's let's wall this off a bit here so we get some, a little bit of privacy uh i don't have any more torches either i gotta well, I have some wood with me. That's at least I did one thing right. <laughs> um. So I went on. So I, I was thinking with the new launcher and stuff, you can actually select on the on the screen in the launcher to allow you to download the old uh, alpha and beta versions. And as I was mentioning, I had the old jar file around. But at the time, I was playing it on my my Linux machine, which I which I still have here. Uh, in fact, that's the guy that actually has the backups on it. And I couldn't, you know, I I I could get the jar to work, but I can't record from there because it's just it would it's just too slow. I can't even get thirty frames per second in Minecraft on my Linux machine here. Um, whereas I can quite easily in uh on my pc so i was kind of looking around like well what am i what am i going to do how am i going to i would like to go back and do like a little nostalgia episode where i just show you some of the stuff that i did in this in these worlds that i, that I have backed up and then that's when i when i heard that um you can uh now in the game it is possible to have the new launcher download the old uh, snapshots, the old alphas, the old betas. Uh, so I tried it out actually off camera a little bit and it worked out pretty well. I'm actually going to restore, re-restore my backup world again 
uh, so that when I start up again and, and record, you'll see where I where I spawned in at. But uh, it brought back so many memories, and, and I think what I'm going to do at some point is actually make a video, just a one-off, you know, just a side quest thing, where I just go back and walk through that world and talk about some of the things I had in there. Um, because again, I, I at that time, I was relying entirely on YouTube to tell me how to, do, how to play the game, uh, and specifically CoStar. So it was, you know, my nether hub looks very, very similar to stuff that he did. Uh, I have a whole minecart system in there that was based off the fact that back then the minecarts, when they passed each other on, on, on the rails, um, they boosted you, right? Because they slightly hung over enough that their bounding boxes hit and they just, you know, shot you off before you even had powered rails and all that stuff. So it's, uh, so I had that all in place and a whole bunch of things. So I, uh, I definitely want to uh, jump back in there at some point and just show off what I had. Um, let you see some of the things I did, some of the ideas I had going on, some of the crazy stuff that was that was patched um, well quite a long time ago. Uh, for instance, I had uh, I had a water ladder down to my mine. I had um, obviously the minecart thing. Uh, what else? What else was another thing? Um, I feel like I had something else too that I can't I can't remember. Uh, it's also funny to see like how useless gold was at the time because I had an entire I think pyramid made out of gold just because <laughs> it was useless for for every other purpose um, that you could think of. I kind of want to jump in here and see where this where this leads me, but I'm also kind of afraid here I want to before I before I make too much armor here I want to make a iron pick because I got I got diamond on my mind plus there's some gold back there that I think I want to uh, take a look at and we've got iron pick and uh, I want to get this this raw chicken going here Howdy. Um, <laughs> what's, up, what's up with the purple names? <laughs> everybody's everybody's <laughs> worried today about the purple names. <laughs> uh, <laughs> for those of you wondering, um, those of us on the server here with with purple names, we're uh, we are content producers. Uh, I'm sorry, pink names. <laughs> <laughs> I I want it very much to be purple, not pink. <laughs> uh, yes, these the pink names mean are are people who actually produce uh, uh, <laughs> content on various services, be it YouTube or what have you, or Twitch. Uh, I might actually at some point. Uh, I have to really get my my crap together before I can do it, though. I might at some point actually um, do some streaming, um, but number one, I don't know really how. <laughs> I have the I have the software to do it. I have Open Broadcaster, um, but I I I have a, an odd setup. And I why did I put that crafting bench away? I I still have I still have armor here to be used. Um, yeah, I, I, it's it's an interesting thing, right? Because I, so I don't have enough for. I just have one, one more pick I can get out of this. Uh, do, do, do yeah, let's just make another pick here. Um, what the hell was I saying? Oh yeah, I, I, I made you some streaming at some point in time. But my setup here is kind of weird. I, I record my voice on my Linux machine, right? So that if, if, if the Windows machine crashes for whatever reason, or I get hiccups or in the recording, which sometimes happens with fraps where your, your, your audio gets out of sync um, from everything else, if there's a particularly bad um, frame rate loss. 
Um, so I do that for, for those reasons. Plus, I also like to record it as a separate stream so that... Oh, 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 hello. So that I can um, manage my voice separately from from the, the game sounds. All right, you are dead, sir. And uh, so so I, I record it with Audacity on, on Linux here because I only own one one Windows PC right now. I'm actually thinking of at some point buying a new one and uh, and having two computers, one that does my sort of um, my rendering and one that does the actual recording. That way I can potentially double my my output. <laughs> you didn't hear me say that. <laughs> you hear nothing. Um, so I might do that at some point. Plus, this computer is is a couple of years old, so it's it's not. Oh, this is there is nothing but death and destruction waiting for me down here. These guys are holding. Oh, they're they're holding, they're holding eggs. This is. I need to uh, clear these guys up. I think. Oh, oh, nope. Oh. 